Driffield is a former RAF base located 1.7 miles southwest of Driffield. It was originally opened as RAF Eastburn in 1918 before closing in early 1920. In 1935, a new airfield was built, first for training bomber crews, then was active during World War II. In the early years of the war, No. 77 Squadron was stationed there from 1939 to the 28th of August 1940, and there was also 102 Squadron based there as well. On the 15th of August 1940, the airfield was damaged by a raid during the Battle of Britain, and after repairs in 1941, No. 13 Group Fighter Command used the airfield for a short time, Bomber Command returning in April 1941. On the 23rd of April 1941, 405 Squadron Royal Canadian Air Force was formed, equipped with the Vickers Wellington, other Wellington squadrons based during the war, 158 Squadron, 466 Squadron Royal Australian Air Force and 196 Squadron. In June 1944, the airfield was operational again with the return of 466 Squadron. On the 12th of August 1944, 462 Squadron was formed, which was also an Australian unit. On the 10th of September 1944, 69 bombers, including 30 from Driffield, bombed La Havre. In December 1944, 462 Squadron moved to Norfolk, leaving 466 Squadron at Driffield. 462 Squadron carried out their final raid of the war on the 25th of August. 25th of April, sorry, 1945, when 18 aircraft bombed gun emplacements at Wanga Range. After the war, Driffield became a training base equipped with the Avro Anson. In 1948, 204 Advanced Flying School was formed, teaching pilots how to fly the Mosquito fighter bomber. In 1949, the Gloucester Meteor and de Havilland Vampire arrived at Driffield both of these being jet aircraft. In September 1955, RAF Driffield became a fighter station again when 219 and 33 squadrons arrived at the base with the de Havilland Venom. Between October 1957 and March 1958, the Fighter Weapons School was based at Driffield. From November 1958, number 98 squadron was based there. They were equipped with three Douglas Thor missiles, which had a range of 1,750 miles. The missiles at Driffield were never used and removed in 1963. During the late 1960s, Blackburn Buccaneer naval aircraft were tested at Driffield. In the early 1970s, 642 Volunteer Gliding School occupied the airfield briefly while RAF Linton on Ooze's main runway was resurfaced. In 1977 the airfield and camp were taken over by the British Army who renamed it Alamein Barracks. By the early 1980s the runways were removed and the hardcore used in the building of the Driffield Bypass. The Army used Driffield as a driver training centre until RAF Leckenfield, which had also been taken over in 1977, was enlarged. Between 1992 and 1996, the RAF returned to the site, but on the 28th of June 1996, the RAF moved out for good. The site is now used as a cadet training centre and the old hangars are now used as industrial units. I hope you enjoyed the short look at the history of RAF Driffield and thank you very much and I will see you in a future video.